Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Scripted and in this video we are going to see how you can launch an Windows instance on AWS Cloud and how you can connect Windows instance using Macbook. So uh, to launch the AWS instance you have to first go to AWS website and uh, then we have to select the launch instance and then we can launch an instance. So let's uh, go to the AWS website. Here you have to first of all click on sign in to console or if you don't have the account just click on the sign up and sign in for one account. After that this window will came. Okay. So here just select the EC2 and uh, after that just click on the launch instance. After that uh, we can just give any name. I am giving the my window and select the windows as the os image ami as windows now just uh, select the free tier eligible just make sure that you are using free tier eligible as aws gave you 750 hours of free tier eligibility and uh, after that just uh, leave them as default so here we came with the key pair so i am going to create one new key pair the key pair which I am using is my window my window key just click this button create key pair and select this ok after that uh, just make sure that you are allowing the RDP traffic from anywhere and uh, after that just click on the storage so storage is 30 GB we are using and then click on the launch instance so it will launch one instance now you can click on the instance id to see how the instance is launching so as of now the instance state is pending that means they are uh, preparing our instance it might take some time so click on refresh and uh, meanwhile it is uh, launching to connect the windows instance on macbook we have to install one application on macbook that is microsoft remote desktop so just click on the get you will get this get button and install this application after that you can open it so it will be open like this okay so it will open like this you have to click on add pc and here you can mention all these things pc name host name or ip address and then you can add this okay so as of now just see how our instance is running or not so let me see it is still initializing you can wait for some time or if you don't have patient like patience like me then you can just click on connect so here you get get the connect tab just click on connect and here you can get the rdp client so click on the rdp client button and then you can download the remote desktop file so it is very easy to download it now if you will just click on this it will automatically open So without this we can also do so we just need this public DNS or username so first of all let me just copy this public DNS and uh, here you can paste it after that click on add button now you have to give the username and password okay so you can see that username is mentioned here that is administrator you can mention this username here but for the password you need to click on the get password and here comes the important thing that the file which you have downloaded you have to upload that same file here 
so you know that we have downloaded this uh, my windows key let's open it and decrypt the password so the our password came this is our password just click on the password tab and paste it and click on continue you are connecting to the rdp client do you want to continue just click on continue yeah so in this way you can connect to windows instance i hope that you are able to see that i am connecting to a windows using my macbook here we are in our macbook okay and uh, in some time you will be able to see the windows screen so this is pretty very easy process you can connect it just the main thing is you have to download the private key and you have to click that get password and you have to use the same private key to get the password because if you use any other key this might go uh, this might give you some other uh, maybe they can give you another error that the same private key is not there so you cannot connect so this is our personal windows you can do anything here so this is very good if you want to use windows on macbook you can launch a windows instance on aws cloud and you can connect it and you can do whatever you want because we know that sometime we want to install some particular apps on windows only or we want to test some uh, applications on windows environment so you can use aws cloud to launch an uh, an windows instance and then you can connect it thank you so much guys for watching this video if you have any query just drop it in the comment section i will reply to your query thank you thank you for watching this video please subscribe to our channel cloud scripted and hit the like button